And now, Hawaii's most accurate weather with Justin Cruz. The only weather threat for the islands has to deal with some surf for the northwest and south shores, and especially the west shores because of Hurricane Wallaka. We're going to take a look at those numbers for the surf in just a bit. But a quick look at Hurricane Wallaka. This is one of two systems we're keeping an eye on in the central and east Pacific. The other one being Hurricane Sergio. Now, Sergio looks to stay in open water and eventually decrease in strength. So I wouldn't consider it a threat to any major landmass, but it is out there. It's something to watch, of course, but it looks like it's not even going to cross into the Central Pacific. So good news with both Wallaka and Sergio in that they won't be affecting the Hawaiian Islands. And uh, Hurricane Wallaka will move into some of the smaller islands in the north West Hawaiian Island chain. Uh, the monuments there, still a very powerful system, 125 mile per hour winds, eventually weakening down to a category one and a tropical storm, and then being absorbed by systems to the far north. It looks like maybe Canada is going to get some of this moisture as Wallaka starts to decrease and that moisture starts to move towards the U.S. mainland and uh, Canada. So they might get some rain from that, but other than that, we're pretty much done with Wallaka. Uh, as far as rainfall today, it's been been very, very isolated. Most areas saw just a few showers. I mean, it's been dry, and this dry weather pattern is expected to hold. And we mentioned that surf earlier from Wallaka, high surf advisory for the west side, 8 to 12 feet. That's huge for the west side under a high surf advisory. Same with the south shores under a high surf advisory, plus the possibility of box jellies at least through Friday. So tomorrow, mostly sunny in the morning, clouds and showers possible in the afternoon, but we're not expecting uh, any any kind of heavy rain, just isolated showers. And the question now remains that we've been answering all week long, when do the trades return? At least consistent trades. Well, those trades are back on Sunday. And the weather until then, just outside of it being a little bit humid, looks actually very, very beautiful. Great conditions for game day on Saturday at Aloha Stadium versus Wyoming, 6 p.m. And then Columbus Day on Monday. If you have that three-day holiday, the weather's going to cooperate. I think you'll be very, very pleased because those trades are back on Sunday. Howard Marissa, back to you.